My search for new photo editing software is still going on and after Snapseed, it's Luminar AI is done. So let's go. Hey guys, what's happening? This is me Tahir and welcome to this new video. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. Before we move on to today's topic, a friendly reminder that if you want to keep up with my latest videos and show your support, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. Now let's move on to the today's topic. Well, Sydney is in lockdown for past two months and I can't go out for more than five kilometers from my apartment thanks to the government restrictions. So I continued my search on different photo editing software. After Snapseed, the next name which came up in the list was Lumina AI by Skylum. Lumina AI is a brand new addition in Lumina's lineup and it is a separate software from Lumina 4. Lumina AI was released back in December 2020 by Skylum and the developers claim with the help of AI algorithm you will be able to edit shots faster and with more precision. I thought let's try out and see if this software really delivers what it claims. So in this video I will share with you guys my initial thoughts about this software. We will go through some basic features and I will try to edit one of my shots using Lumina AI. By the way just to be clear this video is not sponsored by Skylum and these are my own personal thoughts or opinion about the software. So without wasting any further time, let's switch to Lumina AI and edit a shot. So here it is Lumina AI. I have already loaded this shot. It took a while, like around 10, 15 seconds to load this shot. Okay, um, the first screen you're gonna get is the templates one and the templates you will find different sort of templates you can apply. They are using the term templates in Lightroom, it's presets, it's almost same thing. So you get like out of the bat, these sort of default templates if you wanna play with it. When I purchased this software, I got like around four templates with it. Um, if I go into purchase, you guys can see these are the four templates I got along with this software, but I paid separately for these templates. It was not included in the software's basic purchase price. Okay, um, let's go on to the edit section here and I'll try to edit on the go and see how this is gonna look. First one is enhance. Let's try to increase some accent. Um, come on. Oh, okay. Okay, the first thing I'm noticing the software is lagging and this is not good by the way these are the specs of my desktop machine i use to edit shots or like edit videos so i had no issues using adobe premiere pro or lightroom with this machine but i'm seeing like there's a slight delay or like a lag in this software i don't know why it's happening but let's check it out if it's gonna go away or it's just gonna stay there okay um let's increase some accent okay and that's fine under composition let's put it again four by five the standard instagram aspect okay um yep that looks good okay now we'll go to light yep that's the basic color correction um let's see if we need some exposure in it now that's way too much we'll keep it around here by the way if you're using this software and you can't see this histogram you can activate this one coming up here in the corner click on lumina ai go to view and click on show histogram it'll bring up this histogram for you while i'm editing the shots i keep my eye on this histogram just to make sure i'm not overdoing anything or like clipping shadows or highlights okay let's move on smart contrast yeah we'll just pump a bit of contrast yeah that's fine uh, let's decrease highlights. Oh, there is a lag. There is a serious lag going on. And we'll increase shadows. Okay. We'll keep it around here. Okay. Then comes blacks and white. Uh, we're just gonna leave black and white for now. I'm just gonna go through the basic edit and see how it's gonna look. Okay, um, next one is the details. Let's see what is in the details. Small details, we'll increase K. And let's just increase some medium details as well. Hmm. Okay, that's sharpening the image. If I close now, okay, and open it again, you can see that it's taking the effect and sharpening up the edges and details in there. Okay, that's good. It's a pretty handy feature. Let's move on to structure. Um, let's pump a structure detail while, yep, that's fine. Um, yeah, let's try boost as well, okay. And if I close now and bring it up, yep. So far so good, so far so good. Okay, next one is color. Oh, this is good part. 
now let's see how much we can manipulate okay they have hue saturation and luminance panel that's good that's pretty good okay um in hue we'll decrease yellow let's see i don't want this much greens and yellows okay let's bring it up uh, yep and we'll decrease the greens as well okay um cyan no blue um now nah, that's fine uh let's go to saturation now okay um let's increase the reds for the structure yep okay next is orange um orange is fine but i'll just decrease tiny bit okay and how about some yellow we'll pump yellow okay and then let's pump some greens as well okay now it turns blue yeah it's way too much blue i'll just bring it down blue yep 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 it's still lagging mind you it's still lagging i'm not sure what's happening with the software but it's still lagging a little bit okay um that's fine and purple magenta that's fine okay um next comes the luminance panel um here you go okay and then orange is fine let's try yellow no let's go the other way yep let's brighten up a bit okay cyan is fine greens um let's dull down the greens a bit yep okay okay that's fine let's close that down what else we have here oh vignette let's try vignette um i'll increase the vignetting on the corner okay and size yeah that's fine Ah, oh, here you go feather feather option is under advanced settings and i'll just increase feather okay that's fine cool so that is done now let's see what else we have sky augmented sky we can try it out later on um if we need it um portrait this is not a portrait professional under optics yes we'll in open that remove chromatic aberrations as well um what's under advanced settings hmm lens distortion d vignetting now that's fine uh super contrast okay um super contrast highlight contrast let's try that i'll keep it around eight mid-tone contrast okay let's see let's pump some contrast in mid tones as well and shadows key okay. okay so the image looks good um from the point we started um is there a way we can check it out i think oh yeah here history tab if i go in there and so yeah this is the original image and the final output is this looks pretty good looks pretty good but still the software is lagging i'm not sure like why it's lagging let me check out the task manager again oh boy wow you can see like i have 16 core amd cpu and it's clocking at 100 percent at some point this is way too much this is way too much that's why it's lagging um that's new i haven't seen this in adobe before um if luminar is trying to compete with adobe's lightroom they have to fix this issue this is lagging seriously um yeah this is a point of concern to be honest okay um what else we have here if i go back to edit uh let's try changing in sky as well okay if i go under sky and sky selection uh let's try a dramatic sky or something how does this look one eternity later okay it's taking a long time come on okay finally now that doesn't look good um how about this come on one eternity later finally it's loaded um so yeah now hang on let me try one thing if i go under sky orientation and 
Oh boy, it's taking a really long time to process. Let's go the other way. What if I move a slight bit more? Yeah, this looks good as well. I had to adjust some sky at the background, like just bring it up so it doesn't look like a fake sky. Just give us like a bit of dramatic look at the back end. But it's taking really long time to apply the changes in this picture. And I'm using a raw picture here. Maybe the software is not able to handle raw pictures that good. Or uh, maybe it works fine with JPEG. I have to try JPEG later on to see if it works, but I mostly shoot in raw. Um, let's try again. I'm just curious like why this is performing so slow. Um, I'll add another sky. Let's see how long it's gonna take. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh boy. It's taking a really long time. This sky looks good actually. Yeah, it looks fake. But with the color scheme, it looks pretty good. Yeah, it's taking a really long time. If I close the sky. Looks decent as well on this one. So we are done here. Now it's time for the final thoughts. Now it's time for the conclusion. Well, to be honest, experience of editing raw picture with this software is disappointing. The Skylum dev team have to come up with updates which can fix these issues. We know it's possible because Adobe had optimized their software in past. I can't imagine myself uploading more than 300 raw photos from a photo shoot and go through the edit with this performance. It's simply too painful to edit. Now let's talk about the good thing. The UI of this software is pretty clean and intuitive there are some pretty cool features or edit options which can make difference in the photo performance of sky replacement software is pretty good um, but you might have to go through different sky options and tweak some settings so it doesn't look fake the AI performance is pretty impressive it detects the type of shot you select and suggests the suitable templates or presets accordingly all in all this software has potential but the developers have to work out major performance issues which I faced and I showed it to you guys as well if you shoot in JPEGs I guess you will be fine to use this software but photographers like me who only shoots in raw format are going to face performance issues and some serious lag. I will be making more videos on this software and will explore more options and share with you guys my experience. So that's it from my side today. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to show the support for this channel. Until next time, this is me Tahir signing out. See ya.